taking it 3-0 over Amaryllis. Amaryllis actually forced to swap to the Robin by game three, and even the Robin wasn't quite able to do it. But we had a we had a little bit of a of a script thing earlier, which is that everybody's getting you know reverse 3 0 uh, and. <laughs> uh, so if you three O's, well, the thing is, in then winners finals, if if the three O happened for Zane, right, that means right, that the now I forgot about the Amaryllis 6 has to reverse six O. So that's what we're gonna have because you know the script is uh you know it's 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 it's, it's word, it is the word. Anyway, so let's get into it here. Not opting for the Robin, we saw the Robin come out and the Robin did okay, but the Robin wasn't the miracle pick that I think Amaryllis was hoping for. So. Instead, the opting yeah. for the bayonetta that, for the most part, has gotten them this deep into bracket. I mean, you're in grand finals because that Bayo. You can definitely rely on it at least a little bit. And 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 for what it's worth, the Bayo is the hot hand. Um, it, it it's one the the Bayo got Amaryllis over the line against um or against slingshot. It's, it's everybody almost midnight. Give me a did you get, did you get, give me, Anyway, um, it's like even when things started to Ooh, fall dang. apart, whoa, that is something that we did not see from Amaryllis in winners finals, and that's a that's a real wrinkle in in, in the plans for Zane to you, you know cruise to another three zero victory here. If Amaryllis is getting these hard call out F smashes. That's something that Duck Hunt really cannot match. Okay. <laughs> Duck Hunt is a character not that great at making. Great well, Duck Hunt's combats. actually two characters. Um, Duck Hunt's three characters. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry. You, if you know gonna, what? If we're you, gonna be we pedantic here, game. I will be pedantic. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Please. Please. Uh. Yeah. yeah. I'll. I'll, t I'll take the L on that one. All right. You better. Um, anyway, though, you know who else is, might have to take this L, at least for game one, <laughs> is Zane, because this is not looking so hot. Actually able to bat within out of the up smash. Up smash of his own doesn't quite work, but Amaryllis now still looking pretty dang good. 155% and trading what stocks like that. What a fantastic like trade. Yeah. What a fantastic trade for Amaryllis. Um... Oh man! And now, Am Amaryllis. This is looking like the beginning of uh, of losers finals, where Amaryllis just opens up a pretty big lead and continues to hold it on second stock. Okay, but oh, but Zane has something to say. Yeah, one thing about you know. <laughs> like, as a character like Duck Hunt, who normally has, honestly, pretty solid neutral, if you're down by this much, one of your paths to make the comeback is to just play perfectly. Just hit him over and over again. And if you're able to do that, then, yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, of course you can make the comeback if you never get hit. Doesn't matter how far down you might be if the opponent's never actually able to land any meaningful attack on you. That's a solid air dodge through that can. Able to keep this stock alive, but now you have to dodge around the can to get uh, to get back to the ledge. Able to do so again. Um, so Amaryllis with another chance to add on some uh, some more extra credit here. Another witch twist combo, and like, you, like you're you're kind of thinking about extra credit for Bayo. You're thinking about it in terms like the you're thinking about the quantities in terms of numbers of combos. Because each combo is like you know maybe 25, 30, 25 to forty percent. Um, and because of that, now this is starting to get farther and farther out of hand. And Amaryl is not pushing the issue at all, but uh, Zane is able to uh, really put pressure with without um, putting that dog in harm's way. And Hey, Zane's taking the percent lead, by the way. Yeah. He's hey, Zane won the, the game, game, by the way. Lead. Oh man. Did he? Did they not read the script? Uh, Somebody's getting fired. Well, wait. Okay, I was sure actually thinking it's... about this. I I could actually I, I was actually thinking about this. Um, let's say, first of all, the, the 
for us as commentators at midnight, um, the worst case scenario, we get a 10 game grand finals. Um, so let's say that it's 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two for Amaryllis and Amaryllis wins both grand finals sets 3-2. Uh, Zane technically wins on aggregate because Zane won more games than Amaryllis. Oh, yes. But the good thing is none of that matters. It, no, it doesn't. But it matters to, to, to my lizard brain. <laughs> when, when you lose to somebody, but you're just like, but technically I won more games yeah, it, than them. Because exactly. I to, we were actually the, the fact that anyone can make The fact that anyone can make that argument... See, and I, I, I go one step further and I'm like, uh, but I like three stocked them in game one oh, of a best two out of yes. three set. Stop. So technically I took more stocks than they did. We're getting full on CONCACAF here with the with the aggregate <laughs> scores. Who who won who who had more away goals in, in the set? <laughs> uh what if Smash worked like that? What a weird what a we that would be weird. What if we did stamina mode? <laughs> One, go! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, man. Those are the uh, Okay, already. Look at this. Out of the gate, full blast. Zane managing to do 71%, but here come the Bayo combos. 60% in response. 64, actually. And all right, now we're at the point where they're probably going to be trading a bit more blow for blow. Uh, sometimes literally in the case we can't blows up on both of them, but <laughs> okay. All right. Oh! Uh, Zane, I guess ready for the point blank bullet arts, uh, gets the up smash and now Zane is one of the, one of the better players I've seen at like when their opponent has like an unforced error, like Amaryllis had at the end of game one. Um, Zane is one of the better, better players I've seen at like just completely stepping on the throat taking like taking the like the gifted surge of momentum and absolutely running with it yeah i mean with a character like duck hunt that just thrives on imperfect play you know as soon as you get lazy as soon as you get too you know just or desperate lose the pre yeah the desperation when your presence of mind escapes you that's when this character just is able to do so much the other hits of up air actually connecting and a beautiful tech zane managing to live even longer 140 this game is looking like an absolute slog that tech was low-key a flex. That's like, hey, I'm kicking your ass, and also I can do this um, on Wi-Fi. Like, it's, it wasn't the hardest tech, but still, any, and like any stage spike that you walk away from with your with your stock intact, you're you're happy with. Well, um, as Duck Hunt, a character who doesn't have any hitbox on their recovery, meaning that means that. Zane has had a lot of practice teching with this character, That's, basically. That is very, very true. Oh. And now, uh, this is this is really starting to look like curtains for Amaryllis. Um, Do you think we would see a but, Robin pick for game three? Uh, kind of hope not. Um, wow. it, but this okay. Wait, all right. We have last stock. Hmm. Anything can happen on even stocks. Including oh. that. Wow, going the other way. Oh man, way. I wish That's that killed. Be... Yeah, that that keep them alive. But it's like a question for how long. The, the, you can't a single can will do it. I think at this point. And yeah. knowing that, okay, maybe another can. But still, like look at this, just lightly tossing out these cans, not really worrying about anything else, holding a shield and throwing out can. It's like, what are you gonna do? This is this is so this is so frustrating to play against. Oh, and even going up top too. There's four minutes left on the clock. Where are you going? I, actually, like, what are you doing up there? By the way, it's Bayonetta. You could die. I mean, okay, yes, but at the same time, I think recognize that Bayonetta was trying to cover a low recovery, and by That's going true. super high. Um, I mean, there is risk involved. You know, I mean, uh, you know, a witch twist starting on that top platform might be pretty scary, but. Ooh. And I'm going to take this opportunity to let you all know that you are running out of time to use uh, to use the uh, promo code XW60 to add 50 cents to this uh, Xeno Wi-Fi 60 pod yeah. using uh, using the Matarino link. 
Better get it in right now because yep. uh, Zane just went up. Is that 2 0? Yeah, and I mean, I see that a lot of people low. cheering for Zane in the chat. And if you're cheering for Zane and you're not putting in for the match arena so that they can actually get paid by this, like, what are, also, what are those Also, If you're cheering you're for Zane, you're a fool because we have the script. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe that Zane is about to and get reverse 3 0 twice. The 6-0 is about to get airdropped on your ass. Well, it's, see, um, it still counts as a 6-0 if, uh, if Amaryllis wins the next six games. Well, or if Amaryllis, like I, like I said, we the the, uh, the negative one aggregate game score dream of get 3 0 in winner's finals and then win the next two sets by one game each. Um, boy, that's a hard scenario to convey uh, gracefully. You really have to explain that one. Honestly, negative two aggregate score. Uh, I think I understood it. I, I mm -hmm. got I got the idea. Call that Ronaldo's gambit. Um, I I did not get that one. Ronaldo's soccer player. Is I it, mean, I know it, that. We're, we're, using, but like, we're well, borrowing well, soccer <laughs> concepts here. <laughs> but I mean, is that an actual soccer concept, or did you just use the oh yeah a soccer no the player's name soccer and... the, the it like in like Champions League and stuff like you play a home like when two okay uh, each round is like a home game for each Whoa. side that's and the character whoever swapping. wins on aggregate Go. score for both games wins the overall thing. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. So I knew about that, but also, yeah. I mean, Ridley, Ridley now. Um, oh, oh it, it literally just hit me that we're seeing Ridley. No. Wow. Good, freaking <laughs> bye. <laughs> Thanks for playing. See you next mission. <laughs> All right. Well, um, oh, uh, I very few and oh my god and the last. immediate match it's like i got all my bases covered asshole <laughs> all right their wave is actually able to cover an option and back here almost killed wow okay i mean that is one thing about ridley is that ridley has moves that can absolutely eviscerate stocks then again ridley less heavy than you'd think i'm pretty sure he's hollow lighter bones. than samus hollow bones how uh, else can ridley fly uh, with extreme effort. <laughs> he, he really, really tries hard. Hey! Oh, never mind. He's actually alive. Ridley's really Rid 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 on that. He's got that. He's got that triple jump. There and goes. that's it. All right. Okay. okay. Sped run uh, game. Play. You know what? I Good stuff to both players for not extending this top eight too far <laughs> past midnight. <laughs> Like, honestly, thank yeah, you. Yeah, wait, let, let's, let's just dwell on this. This was, oh, no. Gets down air into goes down for down air. We call that Revenge of the Chozo because you just got killed by a bird. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Thank you, Devin. Thank you, Devin, because I'm glad that somebody on this freaking broadcast didn't leave me out to dry. Yeah. Uh, I feel personally attacked right now. Okay, is it because I'm personally attacking you? Uh, yes. Okay, I've been cool. waiting glad for we this. Got that I'm glad we. I'm glad we had the, <laughs> that that effective communication between us. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>